Jared here for IGN. I'm with Daniel. Daniel, hey, you played Star Trek I Bridge did. Crew. I did, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, expound. So I piloted the new um, Starship Aegis. Um, after a very brief tutorial and my tour of Starfleet Academy, I was put at the bridge and I had to pilot a ship all by myself. So you were the helmsman? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, I was playing with three random people, captain, engineering, and a tactician. And uh, how did that work out, this random people paired together at the Ubisoft booth? So I had to plot as a course for another galaxy. We went there on a rescue mission. It went horribly. Lots of people died on our watch. We were a terrible team because we had little to no communication. A lot of bickering, a lot of infighting. So we learned two things today. First, you were a really crappy Starfleet officer. Uh, and second, you have to coordinate to uh, actually succeed Yeah, this so it's all about communication all because right. your abilities work in tandem. So for instance, I was plotting the course, but I had to wait on someone else to charge the batteries or the power cells. If we wanted to beam people aboard, we had to put the shields down, which left us vulnerable to Klingon attack. Oh, oh Klingons very, attacked? Very stressful, yeah. So were you destroyed by the Klingons? We weren't, we managed to get away, but we didn't rescue everyone and maybe some stuff was on fire. Okay, so there was some fire. Oh, we, yeah. Do you have the bridge explosions, like the Star Trek um, 3? A little bit, there's a bit of turbulence, there's a bit of fire. Were you ever tempted to leap out of your chair and roll Star Trek style? I was tempted to walk away from the rest of my crew. Oh, so you're, the rest of your crew really, really There's a lot of infighting. I think the captain should have, the captain should have done better. So they, were they just not taking it seriously? Yeah, one person definitely wasn't. Okay. I kept putting the shields down all the time. So I talked with uh, uh, some of the creators today, and one of the things that I heard was that uh, you don't actually have to have four people to play this. So there's gonna have, they're gonna have AI officers available. How do you think the game would change if you were playing with fewer than four people? Do you think that coordination yeah. and teamwork is really what the hook that makes it work? Yeah, I think I regard this very much as a party game, which is what I like from a lot of VR experiences. I don't want to put a headset on and play Fallout 4 for 200 hours. I want to have these kind of light-hearted experiences that feel like rides. And I think if you took away the other people and all the communication, kind of the fun would evaporate. Well, let me ask you two questions about that. Uh, first, obviously, you don't all have to be in the same place to play this. We nope. know that. So that's good. Do you think the party game atmosphere would work remotely? Um, yeah, I think you could still have a lot of the fun and kind of the back and forth and the fighting. I think doing it in the same room is great. Well, that's the other question I want to ask. Where do you get four VR headsets in one room? That's tricky. Uh, that's the one thing I've been wondering about, but I'm so excited about this game and I'm so happy you got a chance to play. Uh, any final thoughts you want to share with the audience? Um, pay more attention when you're in Starfleet Academy. All right, well, now we know. So if you'd like to avoid Klingon attack, work together as a team. And for everything Klingons, Romulans, and the Federation, stay with your friends here at IGN.